edit that part out. But, um, okay, so this week we're going to be going over climate variability and ecosystem change, um, mainly ENSO, El Nino, Southern Oscillation. Um, how was the test? What, what was the general idea of the test? Uh, ocean upwelling. Oh, never mind. I'm going to find it. There's this one quicker question that I didn't know. Keep on going. Okay. Um, well, how did everyone else think about it? Was, was, was it easy? Was it hard? I think this review session really helps out clearing out the big lecture because in big lecture, of course, we're not as tempted to ask questions in here, given that it's a closer group. Okay. Here is the uh, the project presenting dates, and you guys are split between Monday, December second, and um, December fourth. So does does anyone want to switch with the first date? I can switch between my my sections if anyone wants to. Um, if if you if you guys want to do it, you don't have to tell me now. You guys can just email me later saying you want to change dates. Um, but just keep that in mind. Uh, I can also switch you guys around here too if anyone wants to. So the difference between these two species is uh, this is an anchovy. It's a little it's a little smaller than a sardine. Um, it lives it prefers colder waters. Um, this is because it eats larger um, primary producers. You can see its mouth keeps open really wide, um, and because it eats larger primary producers, larger primary producers. Um, are a product of colder waters, which usually means more productive uh, because of all the upwelling, bringing up the nutrients. Um, and sardines are, are larger and perform, uh, prefer warmer water, but they eat smaller organisms because their mouth is not as big. All right. So El Nino, in general, it's an abnormal warming of surface ocean waters in the eastern tropical Pacific. Uh, it's tied into Southern Oscillation because uh, the Southern Oscillation is basically the seesaw pattern reversing surfacing air pressure between the eastern and western tropical Pacific. So uh, when one side of the Pacific becomes high pressure, the other side becomes low pressure, and it just seesaws um, along with El Nino. Um, when the surface pressure is high in the East Tropical Pacific, it's, yeah, it's low in the West Tropical Pacific, and vice versa. Um, any questions about just what El Nino is in general for Southern Oscillation? Yeah, it's Ross. A normal pattern, which side? So. I'm about to go over that. Yeah, I was just so just know that El Nino is the abnormal warming in the Eastern Pacific. Okay. So just to go over again what El Nino is, um, the easterly winds, which <laughs> they're called easterly, but they blow westward, um, will blow the surface water uh, to the west, right? So the warm surface, the water has all this, the surface water has all this time to travel and heat up because it's close to the equator. Um, but while blowing the water west, the water at the bottom um, upwells, and in, this, in the new space formed by the, <laughs> the wind pushing the water away. And this cold water has um, a lot of nutrients in it. And because of these nutrients, um, this is able to support a much more complex ecosystem. Normally, one side is warm and one side is cool, right? So this side is, is cool, uh, cool water, cool air. It doesn't really rain. Um, there's a very productive system that if, I'll go over it in a second. Um, but then this side, um, has a lot of warm water and warm air, uh, less dense. It's really wet, a lot of rain. Um, but uh, okay, so then during an El Nino, what happens is the trade winds weaken, or they might even reverse. So instead of wind constantly pushing water this way, um, either they'll start pushing this way, or the water will just sort of settle. So instead of having just warm water here and cold water here, um, warm water will be all along the surface of the Pacific Ocean. And um, so if there's warm water here, there's not that cold water coming back up. So there's less upwelling, less nutrients, and less nutrients means less primary producers, which means less of the ecosystem. At the same time, because all this 
warm weather is uh, coming over here, um, the air gets warmer, and there's a lot more storms, which cause a lot of problems for farmers and can cause mudslides. While on this side, they have dry air, drought, and a lot of fires. Uh, um, this is the, the Western Pacific. Okay, any questions just about the El Nino system or the normal system? Yeah. Go back to the normal? Okay. Okay. All right. Does anyone know the answer to this question? Is the Eastern Pacific or Western Pacific dry during a normal year? Normally, you're not El Nino. Yeah. Westerns? No. Easterns? Not an answer. Eastern. Western. We're going differing opinions. All right. Let's let's get a consensus. Who thinks it's Western? West, Western would be like the Australia side, this side. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, just a couple. What about Eastern? Who thinks Eastern? Okay, so majority is Eastern. Right, Eastern. Okay. All right, I just showed that one. Oh, wait. Okay. During which year are trade winds strong? Yeah. La Nina. Okay, oh, that, that, that is actually correct, but between normal and La, uh, El Nino. Normal. Normal, right, and then yeah. La Nina is strong, right. Um, actually, let's go back to an El Nino year, right? Um, so, talking about uh, sardines and anchovies again. Which one do you think would dominate during an El Nino year? Or during normal conditions, let's go with that. Where? Yeah. On, on, on the, the Eastern Pacific, on the, off the coast of uh, South America. Anchovies. Anchovies. Because it's anchovies. colder water is up Right? Yeah. Why? Just because of what, what are the reasons? Colder water. Nutrients. Upwelling. Up more nutrients, right? Yeah. And <clears throat> that, that, that would lead to larger primary producers. Okay. Okay. And then during El Nino, there's okay. Oh, so nice. during El Nino, sardines are high in the east. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now the La Nina. Um, that's when the trade winds strengthen more than normal, right? Trade winds normally run westward, and so when the the westward trade winds go even stronger, so there's more warm water building up on the west. Um, there's even more upwelling help happening on the eastern Pacific, so this becomes even more of a productive system. So that's even better for anchovies. Yes. Can you say specifically about the density? Okay. What about during an? Would you like to know about the density? I can help you. It's going to complicate things. Okay, all right. Um, what about during El Nino year? What side is wet? Let's start with that. East. East, East. okay. Perfect. What happens to the thermocline? Oh, wait, flattens out? No. Yes, it flattens out. Wait, what, if, so if it's flattening out, what's happening What's happening on the east side? The thermocline right here. It'll go back down deeper. Right, it'll go, it'll go deeper into the water, right? Because there's more warm water being pushed on this side, so the, the cold water and the warm water barrier shrinks, right? Okay, what way are the trade winds blowing? To the east. During, during El Nino? During El Nino. They're, they're blowing to the east. Oh, right, that's the east. <laughs> yeah, the east. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, right, right. Yeah, they're blowing to the east, though. From the west to the east now. Yeah, okay. So then, what's 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 the difference? What's in, what's a La Nina? Let's go over that one again. Yeah. So the first one was that. Um, that was like the first one was normal, normal conditions. So normal is like trade winds wet on the west side. Yes. Okay, and then so. 
Normal is it's wet on the it's wet on the west side, cool on the east side. Um, warm water, the wind's blowing this way, so, so warm yeah, warm water's pushed over there, and then cold water's upwelling here, which makes this a very productive. Okay, and then El Nino is kind of like flattened out. Yeah, El Nino's when the winds this way so stop blowing, so they might even start blowing this way, and then so the warm water gets pushed back over to this side. Okay, so just like, like to just like move back away. Yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 you can think of it like that. Okay. And then La Nina is like where everything. Oh no. Um, Intensification. No, La Nina isn't is. So normally the trade winds blow this way, right? Yeah. And then during an El Nino they blow this way, right? But then during a La Nina they blow this way even stronger. Oh. So normal conditions are intensified. Okay. So there's even more warm water pulling up here. There's even more upwelling happening here. It's even warmer and wetter over here. Okay. Any other questions?